What's going on everyone? A lot of questions, a lot of concerns, a lot of like what ifs when it comes to the upcoming season for the Los Angeles Lakers. But at the end of the day, it's gonna come down to these three guys. Where will these three be able to take us? And can they figure it out? Can they work together uh, to achieve the goal of delivering a championship? But beyond the players, right? You need players, they need a supporting cast, they need all of those things. But arguably just as important is coaching. Coaching is a very big thing. And I know a lot of people like to undermine coaching and they, they don't realize the significance that coaching is, but the proper coach with the proper culture, the proper systems, the proper everything is very important for any organization. I mean, look at the Brooklyn Nets and all the talent they have, yet they can't even get out of the second round. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a real thing. It's, it's, you need that coaching. Frank Vogel last year was atrocious coaching. You know, for a defensive-minded coach, he just couldn't get this team to either buy in or just play defense, whether it was the roster itself or just the sets or whatever. Um, but he lost the locker room, all of that stuff. Bad coaching, bad culture, bad structure, not holding people accountable, things like that is a huge factor when it comes to teams. There's a reason why professional teams pay coaches millions and millions of dollars to have them coach these superstar players that you're like, these are the greatest guys in the world. Why do they need a coach? Because you need somebody that can be the vocal leader, that can you know create these systems, create this culture, be the structure uh, for these guys. You can't just let them run rampant, right? Well, the Lakers have announced their coaching staff for the upcoming season. We got an official press release where it you know breaks it all down, all that stuff. I won't bore you uh, with all of that. But uh, for the names, you got Drew Anthrope, you got J.D. Dubious, you got Phil Handy, Chris Gent, uh, Jordan Ott, uh, John Pasterk, uh, Zach Peterson, and then Schuller Mil uh, Rimmer. Uh, so I wanted to highlight a couple of these coaches because some of them are just development coaches, stuff like that. They're just there to kind of orchestrate and help run drills and stuff like that. But a couple key coaches that I think are going to have some major significance as well as, you know, of course, obviously, Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham is going to be the, the spearhead that, that leads the charge for this team. Um, and I think that that is, he, he, of course, is the most significant and important piece. But I do think it is beyond just the head coach. You need to have structure even below the head coach. A nice, you know, checks and balances. You need guys that, that can hold the players accountable. Not only hold the players accountable, um, you, need, you need coaches that can actually operate within the frame of the system. You know, like all of that stuff is very key. But to move on to the actual coaches. So right off the bat, um, the, the first coach that I want to highlight is J.D. Dubas. Uh, he was an assistant for the Detroit Pistons. Uh, he's a Utah guy, um, played ball, all of that stuff. Um, but beyond that, he, he has been known as a player coach. Um, he's been known as a guy that has that is somebody that players... Uh, have connected to, have bought into, uh, and that is key. That is important. Um, but again, he was an assistant coach for the Detroit Pistons. He's also worked with the Tor Toronto Raptors um, as player development, and that's my thing. We got a lot of these young guys. We got a lot of like really good uh, quality guys um, that really could make an impact and a difference on this Lakers team, and I really think that uh, that Dubious could really sort of bring the most out of them. Again, he's been known as like a player coach, a guy that players really connect to, a guy that players can really confide into, and he's known for being that development, to have players work on their game. And that, I think, is going to be huge. Um, next up, Drew Anthrop. Uh, so Drew Anthrop, he has been with the organization for some time, um, a guy that is custom to this organization, custom to this team. Um, but again, familiarity, um, a guy that has been with the Lakers system, uh, a guy that you know has that basically Darvin Ham looked at and said we want to keep you want we want him to stick around uh, and you know it's not just him also uh, 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 you have uh, John Pastor uh, who is another guy that was a part of this organization for some time and then of course Phil Handy who we'll talk about in a moment but again familiarity guy that you know has the relationships that has the connections that has worked well with these with this team in the past you know and Darvin Ham. 
See, the whole thing was that Darvin, like originally, Darvin Ham was supposed to hire a, a, a former head coach as his assistant, and then he ended up bringing in the familiarity guys, and Anthrop was one of them. Um, a guy he went to Purdue, played basketball, point guard. Uh, so he's really going to have, I mean, look at all the point guards we have on this team. So he's going to have a huge significance, a huge role uh, in, in just helping develop these guys, get them uh, familiar with the systems, uh, working hard with these guys, uh, all, all of the ins and outs, all of the trials and errors. Um, but to have a guy, again, with familiarity that has the relationships with your, your big three, um, and, you know, has a connection with LeBron, Anthony Davis, and just the Lakers organization can kind of help Darvin Ham. Uh, sort of steer the ropes and and kind of get everything in order. I think that that's important. I think that that's very significant. You need a couple guys that have familiarity with the players, and that's why you know Phil Handy. I mean, this guy is is a legend, right? And he has the relationship with LeBron. He has the relationship with all the players. Uh, Russell Westbrook, even um, you know, he's a he's definitely he's a players coach, and he's a guy that these guys really look up to really confide in, uh, builds great relationships, no nonsense, you know, that, that veteran guy, that guy that, you know, from a coaching perspective, you know, a guy that knows what it takes, all of the ins and outs, and I really think that he is going to be a huge factor. I think he's going to be somebody that is just going to continue to make an impact on this team, on this roster, especially with the young guys, because we need guys like him because we have such a young roster now. You know, like the old guys, you don't really need a, a ton. You don't, they've been through it so much. You you don't need the the impact on coaches, like outside of like the head coach. You need structure, like I said, all that stuff. But like the relationship wise, like a lot of these coaches, uh, they already either have the relationship with the players or the players just don't care, right? They're already, they're already at the point. But these young guys, they want a coaching staff that they can believe in, that they can confide in, that they can, you know, can give them structure and guidance. And Phil Handy is that guy. You know, he is he he might be the most important guy on the bench next to Darvin Ham in my opinion. Um he's a guy that can can keep LeBron in check if need be, that can, you know, kind of keep everything in order. I mean, many people wanted to see him get the head coaching position, which I wouldn't have been completely against, but I do like Darvin Ham. I think Darvin Ham's going to do a great job with this team. Um but all in all, um just to kind of briefly touch on the other guys and then we'll jump into Darvin Ham. So, Ott, uh he was he worked with the Brooklyn Nets uh, as like a video coordinator, um, Atlanta Hawks. Uh, we got a couple Hawk guys again. Relationships with Darvin Ham. That's that's what this coaching staff is. A lot of these guys have had relationships with Darvin Ham. Um, but yeah, so uh, Art is going to be our video guy. He's going to be breaking down the film um, and just kind of putting everything together for us. Um, and then uh, Rimmer, uh, he was with the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. So again, uh, a guy familiar. With the system, familiar with Darvin Ham, uh, things like that. That is key. That is important. Um, you know, stuff along those lines. And then uh, Peterson, uh, who was a development coach for OKC. So, uh, again, got got your couple development guys, got your video coordinator guy, got the guy with the, the Bucks relationship that knows the system and can kind of help and help structure everything. But I wanted to highlight, you know, Phil Handy, I wanted to hand, highlight uh, Anthrop, and uh, I wanted to uh, highlight uh, JD because, you know, I think that those three guys are likely going to have the biggest impact on this roster and on this team. And then, of course, Darvin Ham. I mean, Darvin Ham, he's going to be, he's the, the player guy, right? He's the guy that seems to, I mean, he's even got Russell Westbrook willing to run through a brick wall for him right now. You know, he, he's building this relationship. You see him. He makes you he makes you believe everything's gonna be all right, you know. Like you hear him talk and you hear the things he says, and with such conviction and confidence and stuff, you need that, right? You, you need somebody that can kind of calm the storm, and I think Darvin Ham could do that. You know, he he's a he's a really good X's and O's guy. He's, in my opinion, is going to make the most of this roster. I really do. I think he is a guy that comes from an ex incredible coaching tree. Incredible coaching tree. He's a guy that has plenty of experience. Bud Holzer had him just uh, just completely just running and operating and everything. I mean, he even said it. You know, like, I, like, look, that's that's Bootenholzer's entire thing, right? Is, uh, 
is to like have his assistants operate as the head coach so they get that experience. And that's what Darvin Ham got. You know, so he comes from several championship level coaches. Um, he's always been a, an incredible basketball mind, a guy that knows the ins and outs. He's going to implement the, you know, the, the Bucks offense, which I think will work very well for this team. Got a lot of guys uh, that that are Darvin Ham type guys. At least that's what Darvin Ham and Rob Polinka relayed. But everything starts with Darvin Ham because we need him to figure out how to make this roster work. The only way that this roster is going to work is if Darvin Ham has everybody buying in, everybody playing defense, everybody willing to do whatever it takes to get this done. So I I need to see Darvin Ham be that leader, um, implement his play style, get these guys involved. And I do. I think he is a coach that can do that. I think he's going to figure out how to make Russell Westbrook work. You know, maybe that's overly optimistic, but I think if anyone can fix him, it's him. I really do. I think he can, and Russ seems to be all in on Darvin Ham, all in on, you know, the Lakers uh, and, and just the, the team that they have. And, and Russ just seems to, to really believe in Darvin Ham. And so that's what you need. That's good. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass the question on to you. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think of this coaching staff? Do you love it? Do you hate it? However you feel about it. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Quick little shameless plug, everyone. If you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel, As It Stands Lakers, then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to As It Stands. Believe it or not, As It Stands was the first channel. If it wasn't for that channel, this channel would never have existed. Because of the success of that channel, it led me to want to create this Lakers channel. So do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there. Go check that out. Go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.